hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m cubed divided by 3m is equals to 3 and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And here uh, we move towards uh, the solution of this problem from first method. And here first you see that this 3m is divided by here. When we move it into the right hand side, it is multiplied by this 3. And it will be written as m cubed is equals to 3 multiplied by 3m. And now here uh, you see that. In the right hand side this 3 is multiplied by 3m and it will be written as m cube is equals to this is 3 times 3 becomes here 9m and uh, now here uh, we move all the variable terms to the left hand side and it will be written as this is m cubed and this is positive 9m when we move it into the left hand side it will become the minus 9m and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need to take common m from here and when we take common m we get the remaining values are uh, so from here we get m square minus from here we get 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, now here further in the next step uh, we need to divide this equation uh, into the two cases so the first case is we write m equals to 0 and the second case is we write m square minus 9 is equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. And so from here we have here we need uh, to rewrite this equation as this is m square minus this is 9 we write it as 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, if we have a square minus b square so here we use this formula uh, a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this uh, formula now we write our above equation as in this form uh, so we have here our a is m and b is 3 so it will be written as m minus 3 times of uh, m plus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write m plus 3 is equals to 0 from here we easily get the value of m is equals to 3 and from here we easily get the value of m is equals to minus 3. So here we get uh, these are the two roots of the given equation and we have uh, finally we have these are the three roots which we get here in which one root is 0 and other two roots are 3 and minus 3. And now here in the next step we need to verify that is these roots are satisfied our given question statement or not uh, so here we need to verification of these roots so for verification we copy down given question statement here the given question statement is m cubed divided by 3m is equals to 3 and here uh, we verify in this side we will be verify m is equals to plus 3 and in this side we will be verify m is equals to minus 3 okay so here for verification of uh, these two roots we first uh, verify the positive value of m and the positive value of m is equals to 3 so we put it into the left hand side of the above equation and it will be written as 3 cubed divided by 3 times of 3 is equals to 3 or not this is the our uh, first case and here mm, in the second case we put m equals to minus 3 here and it will be written as minus 3 cubed divided by 3 times of minus 3 is equals to 3 so here uh, we need to uh, verify uh, both of these two uh, sides so when here first we need to verify this side so this is uh, here you see that 3 times 3 becomes here 9 and 
now we have this is 3 cubed divided by we write this term as 3 square is equals to 3 so this 3 square is cancelled out by this 3 square and here we get the in the numerator we get only 3 is equals to 3 this shows that both of the sides are equal which means that the value of m is equals to plus 3 satisfied our given question statement and now we verify uh, this value so here we have minus 3 cubed uh, should be written as minus 3 to the power of 3 and here we have this will be written as minus 3 square is equals to 3 or not so this negative term and negative term are gone and this two uh, cancel out by this term and we get here 3 is equals to 3 so here again you see that uh, both of the sides are equal uh, so it means that the value of m equals to minus 3 is also satisfied our given question statement and now we move towards our third root and our third root is m is equals to 0 and now we put m is equals to 0 into the given question statement so it will be written as 0 cubed divided by 3 times of 0 is equals to 3 or not and here you see that 0 cubed becomes 0 3 times 0 becomes 0 is equals to 3 or not and here you see that 0 over 0 form <coughs> is usually called that it is the undeterminate form or uh, we just say that it is undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined form this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal uh, we conclude about that m is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call that m is equal to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so here you, uh, finally you see that <coughs> two roots are satisfied our given question statement so these are the solution set and the solution set will become here plus minus three and m equals to zero <coughs> be the one uh, uh, extraneous root of the given equation and now we again solve this problem for a second method and in second method uh, we need uh, to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is m cubed divided by 3 times of m is equals to 3 so the second method be the very uh, quick method and here we just quickly get the roots of this equation so here you see that this m cubed divided by 3m and here this m and this term are cancelled out by each other and we get here m squared divided by 3 is equals to 3 and here we move this 3 uh, from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as m square is equals to 3 times 3 becomes here 9 and here our target is to find the value of m so for this we need to take a uh, square root on both of the sides so this two and this square root are gone and we get here our m is equals to plus minus 3 we know that square root of 9 becomes here 3 and when we apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as plus minus sign so we have in the second method we get uh, the two values of m r plus minus 3 and in the first method we already verified that these values of m are satisfied our given question statement so finally we have the solution set of this problem is uh, m is equals to plus minus 3 so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos